Hey YouTube, Papa here. We got a what's in the box. Well, it's not really a box, just a big padded envelope. But um, I contacted a men two mags. I saw that they were doing um, ACIS magazines now, and I wrote them and said, "Hey, I'd like to take a look at them and maybe do a review on them for you." Because there wasn't or isn't much out there, so. Anyway, it's a package from a man too. I got it today. I, I cheated. I already opened it because it was bigger than I was expecting. And let me share with you what they sent me. Uh, a thank you card with a little handwritten note. <laughs> uh, a little AR mag keychain. And some a sticker and a and a decal. That was pretty nice. Oh, and a little Velcro patch. That's it's leather. It looks like leather. Men two patch. And they sent me. Their five round magazine, and they make a 12 round, which is what really was piquing my attention because it's a couple extra rounds, and almost everybody else out there only makes a 10 round. If you want more than 10, you have to buy a, uh, or make or do whatever to an extension for the magazine. Um, but they also sent me one of their mod 3 AR 30 round magazines and it feels pretty good these feel really good um, the polymer they're using is really strong I think it's probably a little bit stronger has a lot less flex than the uh, Magpole, which is what I've been using because that's all I can afford. I can't afford the uh, the metal ACIS magazines and uh, The branding on it's kind of Subdued which is cool And they got the number two for men two magazines And uh, they say toolless Disassembly. <laughs> Let me tell you, these floor plates are they're tough to get off. You know, this is you push down to on the red number two to disengage the lock on it. And quite frankly, they don't need the lock on it. I mean it takes a lot to get these these base plates off. Um in fact I let me set that one there to show you the twelve round magazine they got. Just the big brother. Um, I couldn't get this base plate off yet. I didn't want to tear it up or break it or anything. But I mean, it's it's a real, real, real snug fit. But they say it's got anti-tilt followers. I don't know about that, but spring feels good. And like I said, the the plastic on them is or polymer, excuse me, uh, feels really, really good. I like the texture of it. Should f work well. We'll see how they feed and when everything else when I do the full review on them, but this was just the initial unboxing and playing around with them. And then, um, just for grins and giggles, this is the, uh, what they're mod 3 or gen 3 magazines look like they feel good they're not quite as oh well, they're close though they feel good and stiff not a lot of flex so it shouldn't bow out when you get them fully loaded which is important and again this has the brown followers and matching number two here on the base plate to get it off. 
overall I'm impressed. Never really messed with the uh, Mentu mags. I know that uh, Don over at uh, Trees of Blowing has, and a few others. So we'll give it a try and see what we get. Anyway, that's it for my review today on box opening. Let me get this in here so you guys can read the back of the package and what they have to say about it. And here's the front. This is four-way anti-tilt super follower. So, uh, like I said, I'm not so sure about that one, but we'll find out. Other than that, hey, thumbs up is greatly appreciated. It really helps bring new people in because of YouTube and their stupid algorithms. So please give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions or comments, post them down below. Other than that, you all have a great day. And remember, keep smiling. It makes people wonder what the hell you've been up to. Take care, YouTube. Bye-bye.